Teamwork is like unity. We all have to play together as, you know, as a family and do whatever it takes. We all have to be on the same page from the time that the coaches is talking to us to the time that we are warming up on the floor to the time we come back in the locker room and from the time uh, that the game starts. We all have to make sure that we follow the game plan and we, we execute it out on the court. It's different from the experiences, you know, that I, you know, from high school to a junior college level and coming to a division one level. It's actually pretty fun and pretty interesting, especially with the fan support. It means a lot. Of course, you know, having a crowd to play for and, you know, when when we when everybody or when somebody on the team makes a good play and, you know, you hear the crowd in the background, you know, here with you, it means a lot. When I step on the court, it's like I'm energized automatically because of Hilton Magic. You know, it's playing for a great crowd. It, it gets my motor going, and you know that's why I work so hard on the court during the games. What motivates me is what I went through as a child. Um, <clears throat> I went through a lot of uh, trials and tribulations, and I learned from those experiences, you know, that there's always a way to overcome um, any situation. You know, of course, being um, on the streets as, as a child, you know, I was homeless, didn't have nowhere to eat, nowhere to sleep or nothing like that. And, you know, going into the foster system, um, <clears throat> I learned a lot. Uh, I was in there for seven years, and, 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 and the foster mother that I had, you know, she was, she was very wonderful, a very wonderful person. She taught me a lot, you know, as a growing young man, and, you know, she, she put me in situations that, you know, that this is what the real world is like. And, no, and I also learned that nobody's gonna give you anything. You have to work for it. And that, that is what I, that experience as a child is what I carry every, each and every day you know, in practice or in the games or just in life period. So, I didn't start playing basketball till my sophomore year of high school. You know, so it was, it was pretty late in the game, you know, but at first I was actually playing football and uh, I played that seventh and eighth grade year and I, I broke my leg um, in my April year, so I had to sit out my freshman year of high school. So then I started playing you know, basketball as a sophomore, and it, it actually played a, a big role. You know, I played for three or four different teams, and uh, I actually started to fall in love with the game as, you know, the longer I started playing it. Game day is like, you know, my adrenaline is, is going in the morning, you know. I'm looking forward to the game, and I'm looking forward to playing for the crowd at, you know, Hilton Magic. Um, everybody's behind you. Everybody wants to see something good. You know. Great fan support, you know, that's what I look forward to also. And, you know, especially if we get the win too, you know, and everybody, it, it makes more people come back. I do have a quote that, that's inspirational to me, and it goes off like, I'm not the best, but I do work hard. I'm not talented, but I do the things talent won't do. You know my name, but not my story. I am Daniel Idozi, the Nigerian nightmare. <laughs> <Good story. laughs>